Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot message. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of October, I have two specials going on, so if you'd like to know more info about those or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is on below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Virgo, for this week, I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be giving you an intuitive message focused on love, relationship, and matters of the heart in general. And then I'll also be pulling out one card with a message for your sign. In Virgo, I feel like there's this very dual energy regarding your love life. Like, there's a lot of contrast. There's, there's a lot of, like, a paradox influencing um, the way you are understanding the arena of your relationships. Like, in one way, you get it. But in the other way, there's something that contradicts your original perspective. So, some of you are in need to harmonize the differences uh, that exists within your own emotional understanding of how you feel and how you feel about others, but also of how you see others out there as a part of you. So this is a very in-depth period of observation. I feel like you're very interested in observing who you are with, who you are interested with, even for Virgos that are not, you know, they don't have anyone in their hearts, in their minds. I feel like you're very interested in the in human behavior and how, you know, this love thing works. I feel like you're trying to have, like, the eyes... From the eyes of a scientist, you are absorbing the experience. That love as being an experience that you should study. So some of you are very calculated and analytical as well about your own emotions and about your own relationships. Some of you are... That are in relationships. You're going too much by the book. Like, you're being... It's like you're not being, some of you are not being spontaneous enough. You're not, you know, being yourselves in a way or you're afraid to lose control. Um, and so you are kind of restricting the growth, the passion, you know, the chemistry that could really exist between you and someone. I feel like there's someone um, in your life or about to appear that might be just different from you. And you might be creating a lot of barriers in allowing that fire, right, that combination, that chemistry to um, be created and generated and, you know, infuse relationships with more sponta spontaneous, like this spontaneous lively force. So some of you are like pushing others away, your partner away or, or someone that might be interested in you, you're like pushing them away a little bit because you're afraid of the heat or you're afraid to be burned out as well. Um, some of you Virgos are just tired as well, like you're not, you know, feeling like you have the energy maybe to do things um, that would like spice up the relationship. It could be that some Virgos that are in relationships, you just again tired because of your the demands of other things in your life and um, your vitality might not just be working as, um, you know, as you, as it should, or it's just, it's a phase where you're worn out. And so the drive to make things happen in your relationships and even, you know, with friends and other people you love, you might not be really, it's like you might be displaying some apathy towards those you love and that might create a sense of like distance again between you and those you care for and I feel like this is this is a phase for some of you this is a phase that is about uh, taking a break and recovering and relaxing and just um, re re revitalizing or revitalizing I'm, so, I'm not sure how it's said but it's like to regain regain you know your energy so then you can give more of yourself like what you're being asked is to give more of yourself but you cannot give from an empty space so you need to fill up your cup and then you can be ready to give and some of you have you know um 
you, you have dried your resources. Your emotional resources have dried out. What I want to say about that is that you didn't, uh, maybe you went, you pushed yourself to the limit emotionally in the previous uh, months. And of course that if you have done that, now it's a time to uh, hit the pause button and wait until you feel yourself back up and then you're re ready to give and to uh, understand that you also should be asking to receive. So you don't, you know, you're, you are always receiving and giving at the same time and not being completely, you know, burn out. Yes, completely depleted of your resources. And some of you have been through this. You've pushed yourselves to the limits. And this created also for some of you a sense of boundless uh, love. Some of you, Virgos, you know, you love or you have been loving with all your heart, but the sense of selfless love that's being show, showing up here, uh, you might have been, let's say, leaving this experience of uh, absolute love for someone or for something or for life in general in a way that has been maybe neglecting than your most primal, selfish, per se, needs. Because you also have those needs. You also have needs that are about you, that take in consideration only you. And that doesn't make you a less beautiful, loving human being. And some of you, this understanding about self-love and boundless love, right, um, needs to be more balanced, I feel like. You need to understand here how to balance those two type of loves. Because if you are giving uh, unconditional love without self-love, that is going to create an emotional hole as well for some of you Virgos. Some of you need to just leave your head. Like, leave the head space, because in the head space, <laughs> things will not make sense. You will um, just panic or just... Be more confused about if for Virgos that this is about answers and needing to clarify, you know, make decisions or clarify or get to the bottom of the situation that affects your relationships. Leave the mind space. There's a clear notion that your mind won't give you what you want. It won't give you what you need right now. It's like here in the tapes you're playing, the thought process is just not operating from a place of love. So you won't understand love and how things are functioning in your life. You need to feel them out first and then process that internal information to the mind so it can make sense to you. Uh, you have the Ace of Air, so the Ace of Swords, and again, this is a very mental, analytical energy, and it says, new ideas and a bright inspiration to see the truth of the situation and a challenging start. So for me, as I, all that I said um, to you, Virgo, there's a need for you to straighten up, right? To be, um, to reorganize your thoughts and reorganize yourself, to align yourself so that you can understand what you're dealing with. Others of you, this is about the power of observation that I said, like looking at your life and your relationships and even your feelings with uh, a scientific approach, studying situations, analyzing them. But I keep uh, saying that um, if you are analyzing something without knowing how it makes you feel, if you're trying to copy, copy paste what you are observing to make sense to you, it won't uh, take you to um, a much different place of clarity. And some of you, this is also about receiving some sort of news. And I feel like for some of you, the informations you are receiving are a little bit troubling. It could be that because it concerns your loved ones, it could be that someone is not doing well and you might get that notion. Or it could be that just you're going to be hit with a certain fact that you're just not expecting and then that's going to push you to react um, and to adapt to a different, uh, different concept. Something that you didn't anticipate that, of course, affects your love life and your relationships and ultimately as well the relationship with you. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.